Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Mascarada. Tempted to respec, if only because I want to get rid of the squirrel power, but it really doesn't matter. We have way more points than I know what to do with anyway. So, let's just move on. Let's get going. Who do we want to take with our party? Well, we definitely should take Tiazani, at the very least, to reassure her that we're no longer keeping secrets. Whether or not she's actually reassured by that, I don't know. Hasn't anyone told you it's rude to stare? Sir, are we really traveling with that thing? It needs to follow us, so yes. Does it, um, understand us? A little bit. Perhaps. It certainly isn't stupid. Right. Well, anyway, uh, where are we going today, sir? The assemblia, please. Right away. Okay. Yep, definitely have to take her. She's locked in place. Um, I don't know if Vasco's ready to go yet. I'm tempted, because I think going out in the world definitely helps, but he did recently salt. Not wild about him putting on another mask. So, no. We're going earth powers today. Let's do it. Earth and fire. Earth, fire, wind, really, if you count Cicero. And you should. You need to hide. Comfortable? Well, we can't have a Fey walking around with us now, can we? Let's go. Actually, that would get you, well, probably more attention than you want, really. Oh, hey, more ink down here. Not that I really think it's worth changing out the inks we have, but... I don't know. We have another couple of chapters to go, maybe. Up, oh, lore over here. Altus Nobilis. Okay, I'm curious. What is Altus Nobilis? Or the Brown Guild is home to a vast majority of Embrace historians. Most of them are too obsessed with the past to worry about the present. And this blinding obsession with history has come at a cost. In recent years, they have lost the respect of many in the city, especially because of their reluctance to engage in contemporary affairs. Okay. That last part seems like, yeah, like they should definitely lose respect. They keep too many eyes on the past and not enough on what's going on. Come on. Halt! Hello. Good morning, Malleus. You've got company, is that? Inspitore Cicero Gavar, yes. I do not think Va Previo would be too pleased to see you bringing a member of the White Spire in here. I am here under the orders of the Judge Master. I'm certain the Va will allow this. <sighs> on your word, Marshal. Basically, on your head be it is what he really means, but all right, we were allowed in at least. Okay, reception hall. Oh, okay, person at reception. Tiziana? Hello, mother. Mother? Shouldn't be too surprising, I guess. She's got great mobility. Please sit. All right, do we have to? I mean, I guess you might be here who we're, who we're here to talk to, so sure. Inspiratore Gavar. It is surprising to see you here. I am sorry, but I had not been told that we would be visiting Tiziana's mother. Does it matter who she is? We need access to the Assemblia, and that is that. Fair enough. So, that's why you've come. Might I ask what for? The Misted Isles. We want to see it. Tiziana, even you understand that the- I am here on behalf of the Judge Master. You will take us to see it, or have him to answer to. Hmm. I can't. Excuse me? The assemblyer is occupied. So what now? What in the light is that supposed to mean? There are fey in there, aren't there? Mists. What is happening inside? The Rediro. They've grown. Oh, shit. Grown! They're trying to break free. Prepare yourselves! Oh, we came in just in time, then. I'm oh. Ready. Oh, yeah, they're big. They are definitely big. Okay. Um, this isn't bad, though, right? These are... I'm not really sure what they are. Are they made of weapons? Kind of get the impression they're made of weapons. We definitely do not want to be standing in the red, though. That sounds like a bad idea, so I'm going to twirl. Uh, you, Tiazana, you should definitely back up over this way, and you should... Actually, that's a great idea. You should definitely do that. Okay. Then, yeah, you set up the shield or something there. That'd be great. He's going to go and stun those guys, and hopefully stun the guys in the back as well. So, you should... Fissure? Actually, that would work out nicely. Yes, definitely Fissure. 
pretty good interrupt. Worked out. And then I think you just bash them as much as you can from here. Okay, they're all together. Does that help me at all? No. Yeah, no lightning strikes. Trade wind's really not going to help. Well, nearby enemies take 30 damage within 3 meters. They're all within 3 meters. So, yeah, that might actually work. Trade here. There you go. They took a ton of damage from that. That was nice. Shades. They're enormous. A little big. Var Pravia had gone to the Luka to make a request for assistance. We had hoped to contain them until she returned. It seems you failed at that. Isabel, we need to get to the Misted Isles. I'll get the calendar. Tiziano, guard the door, please, while I determine the course we should take. Amadea, assist me. Isabel, you and Tiziana are not exactly on the warmest of terms. Yeah, no shit. She blames me for her father's death. Zane, from what I know, he died of an illness. Ten years ago, while I was on a ruin raid with the Altus, there was an accident. I fell into a coma for two years, during which Zane tirelessly cared for me. He stretched himself thin. Too thin. He started falling ill. One night, just a month before I emerged from the depths of the coma, he did not wake to the morning sun. Tiziana thinks that if I had been stronger, if I had been able to protect myself, he would still be alive. That's a little unfair. It was an accident. Born of incompetence. Well... And she said this to you? That she blames you? I'm certain she's spoken much about Zane. Is it any wonder that you have never heard of me? I had thought that perhaps you might have... <laughs> been dead. Sometimes it feels like I might as well be to her. Here. The 57th route. I can take us through it. Isabel, perhaps if you tried speaking to her... I have. You think it is easy for me to live with the knowledge that my daughter hates me. On the rare occasion that she comes and visits, I reach out, but I always get burned. But you keep trying. Can I ever stop? She is my daughter, Cicero. And if words will not convince her, then perhaps action will. Eventually, hopefully. What do you mean? We should get back to them. Let us go. I know the route to take. Us? You will only slow us down. Tell me which route it is, I can take them through it. I am capable of taking care of myself. You are not! Marshal! Stay out of this, Inspettore. Tell us how to get through. You are witness. If she slows us down, do not say I didn't try to stop her. She's faster than Marshall, you are. She is your mother. Does that excuse her from her folly? Tiziana. Where is this coming from? What? You! Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. What's between me and my mother is between us alone. We have gotten by for years without your help, and we will continue to do so. Not just it's been a theme. Now, if we are done. Seems like every yes. companion just needs a little bit of help. So, you know, I think it's your turn. I think it's, I think it's totally your turn. We're going to go and pick up some lore here. Boop. I'll read that later. There we go. Totally seems like it's her turn. Just saying. You see, she's already ahead of us. Tiziana, you notice this? It is this way. She's going to be ahead of us every step of the way. Not slowing us down. Um, what? The rooms move? How do you keep any kind of order at all? Like, how do you know, like, where things are? What okay. is that? It's a bell station. We use them to call the Rediro to us. Ever since they've gone berserk, they've been swarming these things. They're just going to keep coming unless we destroy them. Isabel. We do what we need to. I understand. Let's go. Okay. Well, I mean, just this guy by himself isn't Watch so bad. Flanks. But... Oh, we need to destroy the bell. Gotcha. Okay. That would be problematic if you're supposed to be calling them with it. But I suppose up until now, they've probably been... Uh, tame. So we should probably just go for the bell first, right? I'm gonna go for the bell. You guys deal with this thing. 
Oh, every time you hit the bell, it's gonna call in more? That's problematic. Okay, not every time. But quite a few times. Better than this. Okay, it's up here. Going for this. Oh, the fire is a good idea. There we go. Fire worked. There you go. Not so bad. Try not to run into the abyss between rooms. Freaky as all hell. I would never get used to this. Um, can't see this way, but. Inspiratory. It is the other way. Yeah, I know, but there's lore over here. The Bright War. Sounds cool. What is the Bright War? War lasted five years, which was a result of the Registry's execution of a vigilante, Tamarad de Rossi, who had been organizing efforts to steal from wealthy merchants at the docks and distributing the wealth to the goods of the less fortunate Constantini. So she was totally Robin Hood. That's fantastic. Even after the resolution of the Bright War, however, the Masquerade overpowered the Constantini into submission, there were still great amounts of dissent that lingered. The root cause of the revolution hadn't been solved. The gap between the Continuity and the Masquerade was still present, even greater than ever, and this continued to fester until finally exploding once again decades later in the War of Bearings. Okay. But knowing you had a Robin Hood figure is still pretty cool. Hey, look, Malor. Miskelia. Okay, sure, why not? I'm curious. Name given to the period of Umbre that began at the end of the 5th Canticle and stretched all the way into the end of the 6th, which great numbers of the Umbrians from Rondiga came to live in the city instead. The sentiments that led to the migration had long been building, as the difference in wealth and power between the two areas increased, and once the floodgates opened after the Song of the Crimson Tides, the streets of Umbra began to fill at an unprecedented rate. The influx of the city's population was so great that the Registry had to implement a law to quell it, in which the setting of new families in the city was disallowed, but the city had, by the end of the Sixth Canticle, been filled to its brim. Let me just build up. Though I guess, technologically, that's actually pretty difficult to do. We didn't pass five stories, I think, until... I want to say the 1900s. Um, okay, so she wants to go that way. Let me go this way first, because there might be an item. Wrong way, Inspitori. Yeah, yeah, I know. But see, there's totally lore over here, though. I don't know if we get points for lore, but I'm going to assume we do. Song from Tide, sure, why not? Okay, decorative on British history in which the nation had to deal with fierce piracy that led to the deaths of a great number of merchants and traders. Fighting back against the pirates was an arduous process, but after a decade, Amr managed to curb the piracy enough that the merchants could travel without fear. In the long run, the Song of Crimson Tides brought more fortune to Ombre than harm. In their efforts to keep the pirates at bay, Ombre effectively demonstrated its power to the nations across the belt, cementing in them the desire to gain Ombre's favor. You know what? It feels like they're building up like an entire Hold your ground. An entire world, which is great. And it feels like they need to put in like how great would a I don't know, a pirate game be in this world. That could totally work, right? I mean, you said it back during the different eras when people just were using the mask and not curious about what caused them. You know, take away this whole plot, basically, and just use it as a set piece. And then you have kind of an interesting room to do other stuff. I think there's definitely a possibility there. Because I'm going to go past it a bit. If I go here, that should work. Okay, I was hoping that would work better than that, but that's okay. Um, yeah, just fight this. Okay, and this guy's right here. Let's go ahead and teleport this guy. That hurts him. Good. Get over here. We got a lot of bad guys there. Do not appreciate. Do not appreciate at all. Let's do this. Stun should help. This. I need to get rid of the bell so no more of these guys come in. Oh, so, there we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Teleport. No, actually, just suck in you guys. That should be everybody, I think. Yeah, do that. Kind of worked, almost. Do this, though. Yeah, how could that not work, really? Okay. And that is dead. Great. We're making good progress. Let's just keep going. No reason to be so cold, Izana. I mean, maybe there is, to your perspective, I suppose. But still, 
Manticada, right? We know who that is, but I suppose... Okay, this is... Oh, wow, that's longer than I want to read right now, so we're good. It's definitely a backstory. So it's a book he's had history worth. He remembers more about the conversation around the book than the actual book itself. Okay, this is the way we're supposed to go. Let's hold on. There's a link here. We should at least look everywhere we can. Oh, hello, little guys. Justice will blind you. Justice will blind you? I mean, is that good? That could be good, I suppose. Justice will blind you. I mean, it doesn't sound good, but maybe? I mean, I'm willing for Justice Row to do this, but I think... I'm gonna, can you come over here? Um, you have... No, you don't have Fissure yet. That's okay. Just come over here. That's all I want. Both of us attacking it, it should be in a good spot, I think. Okay, you're not you're not in a good spot. Alright. Um, can I stop this? I can think I can pull this in here. Okay, and then I might be able to lightning plate over here. It's not active yet, but I can get over there. Okay, now. There you go. That's your day. I mean, she's about to go down, but not if we do this. Okay, she just did a burst of fire. Get out of that. And then fight this guy. It's heating up. Okay, we've only got a few guys left. This isn't so bad. As long as she can stay alive. Blazing Bulwark right here. And then that's it. Alright, not so bad. There's lore over here. It turned out there was a bell over here, too. So this might have been the way we are supposed to go. We're a Solus. Um, dead end. Oh, nope. Okay. Right, because the rooms move. So, no such thing as a dead end. So long as you know the schedule. Man, how long would that take to learn? Come at me! For a minute there, I thought these guys would be tame. Just for, like, a full second or two, I thought maybe, you know? It might be that easy. Gotta appreciate the stun. Let's go ahead and pull them all in together if we can. There you go, and then zap. There. Easy when there's only three of them. They weren't even that big. We should be getting a skill up pretty soon, I would expect. Isabel. Oh, what? How did... What? Oh, mother! <laughs> okay. Proves how strong she was. You did that in one blow. We're gonna have I'm to do like fine. seven or eight. This is why I told you not to follow. This really no. Do wasn't. not speak to me this way. I am not useless. Look at your arm, your legs. What must I do to prove myself to you? This is pathetic, mother. You are weak. Face it. I am not. You're never going to be able to bring him back. That's true of anybody. Now mend yourself. She was right. I don't want to hear it. You blame her for your father's death. We are wasting time. She made a mistake. So she should pay for it. That is the Luca way. That is the coward's way. How dare you? You say your father inspired you. Then act like it. What? Your father loved your mother despite her weakness. He died following his heart, not his duty. He died because she was weak. No! He died because he loved her. And you are spurning that because you are weak. You don't have it in you to forgive her, so you run. You hide behind your empty platitudes and hollow justices. But guess what? You can't run forever. We all make mistakes. Hold on to them long enough and just you watch what you become. It must be exhausting to be so mad all the time. It's revolting. I don't think I've ever seen you more honest. You need to learn to let go. It's hard, damn it, I know. But what you're doing to her, to yourself, it's not worth it. My father was one of the best judges. Your father was more than the Luca. 
And you can be too. If he were still alive, I have a feeling the two of you would have gotten along very well. Now they have to come Part of them still is. Perhaps. Ha. Isabel! Mother! She did just run off. What the fuck was she thinking? Okay, no, okay, hello. How you doing? Get away that, from her! Yeah, hi. That's a big one. Yeah, there's no way. It's gonna pull her right out of that chair. It did. It totally took her out of the chair. We gotta rescue her now, right? How are we gonna do that? The Misted Isles. That must be where it's taking her. Cicero, you were with my mother when she found the route. 57. I know the way. We're almost at the end. Come on. Okay, let's go. Um, I'm guessing this way. The room moves, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Freaky as all hell at the room moves. It's like we're inside the TARDIS, but here we go. Yeah, we were right near the end. It's probably a masquerade back the other way, and I just totally missed it, but so it goes. Alright, small battles, right? Oh, no, we're not even fighting these guys. They're like little messenger guys. It's cute. The assembly is mechanism that moves the actual rooms. Gotcha. You can't explain it to me, alright? It's magic. You can say there's a mechanism behind it, but there's no way. It's totally just magic. There we go. We're on my screen. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Dials. Get away from her! Let's make them regret this. Radiro Queen. I mean, is it just that? We do have to also destroy the pillar, apparently. There's another pillar over here, it looks like we have to destroy. Okay, well, I mean, she's just right there. She has no health, but she has at least focus. Okay, so we gotta destroy the pillar. We can't actually target the queen herself, apparently. So, yeah, just all go for it, guys. I think that's all we gotta do. Let's do it. Oh, here they go. Okay, nope, nobody get, nobody stay in the way. Uh, you come over here. Tiziana's in the right place. I think Cicero just needs to, I don't think we're going to be able to stun. That's ridiculous. But can I teleport this guy? That would interrupt him. There you go. That did interrupt. Now we can move in. That kind of worked. It did kind of work. Okay. Um, sure, let's pull them all in, do some damage. Okay, here comes the queen. Okay, that could be a problem. Uh, you need to move. Uh, there is fine. I think everyone just needs to move. Come over this way. And I could teleport. Let's come over this way instead. And then teleport. Just a scratch. Okay, and then I can't use that yet, so just keep on doing whatever you're doing. There you go. Okay, the queen the pillar's the pillar's not destroyed yet. I think we hit the we hit the pillar. We could do other things right now, but I think we just hit the pillar. Watch out, Cicero! Why well, watch out, Cicero? Okay, I mean he's bring she's bringing in waves. Okay, we can't destroy the pillar. Alright, so that's good to know. I can't hit her though, or can't hit the queen. Even the health bar is gone, so I have no idea. Can we just hit the? We can't hit the pillar, huh? Apparently not. Can I do this? To the See, left. To do nothing. To the left, you say? Why do you say to the left? I mean, there's another pillar, which is interesting, but not helpful. I don't see the queen at all. The, I mean, the thing's there. I don't, wait, 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 wait. Don't go into the fucking whirlwind, all right? Crazy person. Okay, so you have to go right. Okay. So, yeah, I'm okay with doing that. Uh, let me take control. Uh, no, 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 yep. I mean, not Cicero. Don't need to worry about that, but she totally does. I can't move her. Cicero! Oh, damn it. I got, oh, I got stunned by it. Just take it and go. Okay, not the greatest plan, but it'll work. Um, sure. Arrow protection. Let's do it. 
come in here and Blazing Bulwark right there. You definitely got to do your Tectonic Phase because the Geothermal Energy you get. Oh, no, you don't actually need that. You, though, Lightning Horses, totally useful. Do that right now. Oh, that's awesome. That was so good. I love the Lightning Horses. They're so good. I definitely teleport here. There are a few of them there. They're out. Uh, take care of this guy. Okay, the queen's coming down. I don't know how much damage we're actually doing to the queen here. Too many of these damn whirlwinds, though. But the pillar's dead. The pillar's gone. That's good. How many are you okay there? You don't look okay there. Let me do this. Okay, we got it. We need to just get away from these things, though. Oh, just causing a beam of light. That sounds horrible. But if we destroy each one of these pillars, chances are it'll have nowhere to go. It's on the other island. I mean, is it though? Oh, okay, now it is. All right, let's come down right. here. And Rebirth's not gonna help you. Teutonic phase. We really don't need the focus. Cicero needs the focus. Can you invigorate Cicero? Convergence, Fissure, no. The answer there is no. All right, well, just, um, I mean, stun isn't gonna work, but whatever. Oh, he got stunned. Did not work. Uh, no, step out of there. I'm gonna do this. Wait for these to come back. Definitely do that. The more we can destroy these pillars, the better off we'll be. Uh, teleport. Um, can I teleport? Probably not. Trade places with this guy. Okay, that could maybe work. Okay, they're all together now. Now's the time to do this. Okay, the queen is stun immune, which is totally expected. That's fine. Stampede's not going to be ready yet for a little bit. I mean, it hurts, but yeah, rebirth for sure. Right now, please. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Tectonic phase. No, okay, your focus is still fine, so you're good. So, Cicero, you've got lightning horses again. Um, step back a little bit. Okay, now with the lightning horses here. Do it. Okay, this pillar is very strong. Definitely do that. It, it hurts, it hurts. That's okay. Okay, the pillar's gone. Great. Just gotta destroy these last guys here. I don't know why you keep telling me to walk out. You guys are the ones running into everything. Um, all right, I did almost run into that one to be fair Okay, there's only one pillar left. Oh damn it. Just walked right into that too It's okay. I mean, there's a lot of whirlwinds around. I mean, it's impossible. So, yeah, it's gotta be over here. There we go Look out! Yep, that hurts. I was stunned. You're right. You're right. Stunned us all Um, You you're having the most problem. Why don't you come over this way? Definitely rebirth She has used rebirth a lot and Tectonic is not going to help Amadea right now, so go back to you. Trade spots. There you go. And then... Air burst. Okay. Not exactly what I intended there, but that's alright. Didn't exactly work, and we're getting pummeled by these frickin' cyclones. Amadea, you need to not be there. Okay? It's not a good idea. You should definitely take this guy out, though, because he's a problem. If you can. Innervate would be great. If you want to innervate Tiziana, that'd be fantastic. There you go. Uh, Tiziana, how you doing, man? You, you could be better. Trade Wisp not, might not be a bad idea. So simply do that. Okay. How you doing, Cicero? Life's... Okay, I mean, you're right full health. Unfortunately, your focus is entirely gone, and I don't I know any way for you to get it back. So, Lightning Horses is going to be a while. Trade wins, maybe over here. There you go. That actually did some decent damage, I think. And definitely do... Okay, there we go. I can totally get them in. Nice. Alright. Um, zap this guy for sure, get rid of him. 
Nice, nice, nice. So just the queen left. And we have the stampeding horses. Let's do it. That was not as much damage as I was hoping. I think I say that every time. Um, Teutonic phase is not going to help you. Can't nerve it again. Fissure is actually pretty good. Do you... So seal is not ready. Oh, that's 0.2 seconds left. I paused at the wrong time. There you go. Oh, she just used it right now. Okay, that's fine. Trading is not going to help me. Void might later, but I don't know. Sure, what the hell. That's a little farther than I wanted to go, but whatever. I mean, it's the last one. This should be it. We got more bad guys coming. Just focus on the pillar, guys. Nothing else. Just the pillar. Do not, do not, do not die. Oh, I'm a D. I told you just to focus on the pillar. Didn't I tell you to do that? Take out the pillar. The queen's gone. That's it. We're done. There you go. Well, that could have been gone worse. Nobody even dropped. I was kind of expecting at least one person to drop there, but it totally worked out. Mother! Oh, my darling. Thank you. Are you all right? I will be. I've got her, Cicero. You should... By the light. You should look around. It's beautiful. Most Attend of to is. why we came. I'll be here. Well, you damn well shouldn't leave. Okay, the misted isle. So, okay, definitely something up here. Grab that. New engraving. A bit of lore, the cascada. I'm guessing that's the waterfall. Yeah, okay. Sitting at the apex of the mountain is a spring of some sort. Perhaps the spring that gives the Kalara life which generates large pools of water that overflow and fall off the capital of the mountain, tumbling waterfalls. Okay. Cool. Let's see if anything else is around here. There could be a masquerine, but I'm I doubt it. Oh, nope, okay. Well, doubt curtailed. Raw masquerine right there. Just had to look for it. Okay. I like the lightning horses, though. That worked out. This is the one? Yes. Oh, uh, I should have brought Vasco to translate. I didn't even think about that. Oh, well. Too late now. I'm guessing S means yes, though. It's barely hanging together. Yeah, don't sneeze. Hey, um... Vril, Sium Aichen, Sium Breog, Sium. Definitely because you should have brought What's Basco. It, saying? it seems flustered. I'm not sure if. Hey! Damn it! Did it just abandon us? <sighs> well, we're going to have to. Don't do this! Tis Yona? Oh. Um, hey guys. What's up? You're here as reinforcements, right? Right. Right. Judge Master, please. Move aside, Marshal. What is going on? Uh, our inquisitive hound. Tiziana. Arf, arf, arf. I'm sorry. You told him about the assembly. Uh, about why we were here. I... Yes, she did. To find out where these artifacts that I've been hearing so much about are. So, Inspectory. Care to share? No, thank you. These artifacts are involved in things you don't understand. I need them. What you need, Inspettori, is to tell me where they are. Why are you doing this? Too long the city has been ruled by incompetence. It needs a leader that can fight, that has the strength to do what is necessary for the good of the city. Not a weakling who poisons it with his age and frailty. And you're mad enough to believe that's you? I think, yes. Imagine how much safer. How much more orderly the city would be if it adopted the bright chorus's compass. The Luca don't even sing them anymore. You can't have them. What? You have spent too long in his company. He's darkened your eyes. Or he has it. shown me the truth. You are a marshal of the Luca Infinita. Your father would. My father would have spat upon this guild. Blasphemous! Look at us, Fabio. We wear suits of gold. 
But where do our hearts lie? We're not supposed to fight to banish the weak. We are supposed to fight for them. The weak will take us down with them. We are supposed to lift them up. Be the eyes of the blind, the tongues of the mute, the ears of the deaf, the swords of the poor. What happened to that? Enough! Damn, quoting scripture. I will deal with you later. But you... You will... I challenge you. Oh, shit. What? Okay. You believe you can rule this city under your martial thumb? What are you saying? Prove it. By your honor and pride, accept my challenge to a duel. Bold. You think you can beat me? If I do, you will respect the registry. And you will leave us alone. All of us. The marshal included. And if I win... You will tell me everything there is to know about the artifacts. Cicero. Fair. Huh. Um. I think that should have been. When you're ready. May the best man win. That should have been Tiziana to do that. We've got. The I'm really sure that it should have been Tiziana to do that. But okay. I mean, I don't have a way to recover my focus, so that's a problem. But other than that, I'm sure it's totally fine. So, I could change stances here, but I do less damage that way. So, we just gotta get out of the way of what the fuck he's gonna be doing. This. So, you can do that. That's fine. And then, let's do this. He's stun immune, but that's alright. I heard him. That's the important part. Um, do this. Okay. And then, definitely zap him. <laughs> Okay, and then get out of there. Oh, that was in the way. It's okay. His focus is not going down nearly as much as I want. Let's try Trade Wind. He is immune to that. Okay, so get out of that. Okay, we got rid of his focus, but we got rid of ours too. Uh, Dervish might help here. Let's try it. Come on! Okay, you need to get out of the way of that. Damn it. Is it a tough fight? If I can just keep my... Okay, he's going to get his focus back, unfortunately. You can't trade win with him. I think the squirrels might have been better. All right, yeah. Pull in there. That's fine. He's actually a little bit stunned. Lightning blade for sure. Uh, lightning blade for sure is what I said there. There you go. Okay, get out of that. It's okay. Don't step on that either, because that would be bad. Yeah, so he does that, which is fine. Trade wind here. Just a little bit. Should do it. He's not stunnable, but it did hurt him at least. That did also hurt me there. Okay, get out of that. Okay, now it's time for... How do you like horses? I like horses. Do you like horses? That was pretty good. Um, pull him back. Okay. Yeah, he keeps getting zapped by that, which is pretty good. Keep also hitting right click, which is not helping. Okay, I got stunned there. That could be a problem. I can't trade wind here. That would be it. I got, I got dunked on there. It's okay. It's okay. Let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. I know it's tough, but we gotta wait for it. I did get hit a little bit there, but that's okay. I'm gonna grab him here. Good. Zap him. Good. Run away. I need to be able to heal. He's healing too, and I know that, but. Alright, that's fine. Now, here's the time for Dervish. Okay, get out of there. And do this again. Yeah, he does not fare well with that at all. Okay, he's almost out. We just need to hold out a little bit longer. I need a couple of my things to refresh. If I can just get this thing to work. I really wish Trade Winds would work. Yeah, he's Trade Winds immune. That just seems like bullshit to me. I don't know why the hell he would be Trade Winds immune. That makes no goddamn sense. Dervish, uh, no, 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 don't Dervish, don't Dervish, don't Dervish. Until he goes there. Then, once he gets out, 
then we can Dervish. Or actually do this instead. There, do that, and then Dervish. Actually, no, 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 no. Lightning, lightning horses it up. Hit him with lightning horses. All the horses. Nice. First try. Could have gone worse. Enough! You... You have won. You man enough to live up to your deal? And our deal? I... I will honor my word. Okay. You... You fight well. As do you. We leave. Okay, was she just abandoned by her guild? That's not just what happened, is it? Cicero! That was... I know. Stupid! Pretty dumb. What? You could have been killed! Yep. Well, whatever it is, I have bad news. About what your Fae wanted to show us? About the Fae itself. It's run off. Oh, by the light, Inspettore! I told you! I know, I know. We can deal with that later. First, we should get your mother back. Now that that's done, we need to find... <laughs> Did I miss something? Not once had I ever thought I'd stand up to the Judge Master like that. I never knew it could feel so... good. We'll see what you're saying once he comes around. Might not be a marshal for very much longer. <laughs> I didn't think you'd take it that lightly. No kidding. I never thought I could either. But the things I'd once held so dear now seem like the trinkets of a fool. A broken compass for a blind heart. Hold off on the poetry, Marshal. Next thing I know, you'll be turning yourself into a songstress. Come on. Let's see what the others are up to. There you are. Ven? What's the matter? It's that creature thing you summoned. Came rushing back into the house not an hour ago. Is anyone hurt? No one but the walls. You should have a look. Did it grow? It must have been frustrated not being understood, and it totally went to Vasco to be to talk to him. That's probably what happened. You're saying that she's right then? Who's right? Cicero, you need to hear this. Uh, someone's been quite the artist. Oli. What? His name. Are you joking? Vasco, enough, please. We have more important things to talk about. What's the matter? What Oli saw at the Misted Isles triggered something. Um, memory. He patched it up? And more. There was text that had been inscribed onto it. His memory is returning. Well, what does it say then? Anything about the artifacts? It essentially reads a warning. Written by the ruler of the Empire during the months before it fell. Is this the same Emperor who won the Civil War? The one that championed that the artifact should be hidden, yes. If this is to be believed, then he admitted that the war had been a mistake. And one by one, unprotected by our celestial boon, our cities fell to the other gods. The chaos of the land bred, and the war of the Divine raged on. Other gods? In the scroll that Lucia gave you, we learned about a chaos that consumed the lands, that we suspect led to the cataclysm. Well, there have been no reports from the neighboring regions about rampaging divines, and Umber is a godless city, so... To those in times not yet past, if among the bones of my people, you find our legacies. If those legacies still give you strength, know that the schemer, Breog, still lives. And if one god can survive, know that he might not be alone. Do not follow my mistake. Reclaim the Schemer's gifts. Their legacy? The Masquerines? The artifacts were a part of their god. It isn't a stretch to believe that the Masquerines draw their power from him as well. And if he's still alive somewhere... He might not be the only one. And the threat of a cataclysm is real. Ages. Lucia was right. There's more, Cicero. The images. Alright, give me a zoom the in. Artifacts? 
Yes, look. A tree? A singing tree. It might explain how it's been alive for so long. We have to go. Two of you, stay here. Look after the Fae and... Oli. Oli, when he wakes up, get him to tell you where the last artifact is. The rest of you get ready. Right, Vasco can't come. He has to look after the Fae and talk to him. Let's talk to Vasco first, though. How is he doing? He'll be all right. Takes after you quite a bit, actually. Why do you say that? There's a determination in the way he moves. An authority in the way he speaks. Is that a compliment? <laughs> He's rather malodorous, too. In case I haven't mentioned. How's that for a compliment? Almost too kind from you. <laughs> Go on, Cicero. I I'll be ready in a bit. I think Vasco should stick to the Fae. I should have probably taken him with us. Didn't even think about it at the time. But now that the Fae's here, Vasco should go wherever the Fae goes. You don't seem quite as phased by the revelations. What? Gods? Well, it's quite a discovery. That they might still live. Whatever that means. I might perhaps be more affected if it were more... affecting. They're gods we're talking about. And I know nothing about them. How am I supposed to let an idea influence me if it's still cloaked in questions? Whatever it is, we should leave soon. I don't quite enjoy sitting around like this. Calden, how do you feel? Calden? <laughs> you were right. You said yesterday that you were concerned about how much bigger this investigation might get. Now you see what I mean? Do you think it might be true? That gods might exist? What do you mean? If they do, then religions can't all be lies, can they? You're thinking about your brother. Maybe there is a promised land. Maybe the Elysians got it right with a Sharamal. Maybe I'll get to see him again. Perhaps. But until then... <laughs> right. We have work to do. And surprisingly, she's not sitting down at the couch. She's usually sitting down over here. Amadea. I'm sorry? You look a little pale. I was just... Gods, Cicero. Gods? Alive. What does that even mean? That they walk among us? All the gods in the foreign religions are all just... Concepts, and... Now... You can't be sure the term means the same to the Dementicate as it does to us. For all you know, Breog could have simply been a talented mortal. A talented mortal who gives part of himself to create artifacts that allow us to bend the elements of the physical realm itself? <laughs> Perhaps your idea of talented mortal needs a little redefining. <laughs> Listen, Amadea, we don't know enough to make any judgments. What we do know, however, is that out there are powerful artifacts that we need to secure. That's all that matters right now. All right? Ah, of course. You're right. I shouldn't be straying. Good. Now let's get ready. Alright, and ready there shall be for next episode. Thank you for watching this has been Masquerada of Song and Shadow. I'm Peace of the Universe, here Peace of the Universe 2. I'll see you guys next time.